these high. So today, you guys are gonna learn how to orbit thanks to this guy right here. So hey guys, Mr. Steel here, and I'm gonna teach you guys how to orbit. Now, what an orbit is, or what I would consider an orbit is, basically maintaining the same distance from an object and, and maintaining the same altitude from an object while spinning around it in a perfect circle. Now you can do an elliptical orbit, which is a little harder to do, but most people that are orbiting are not doing a perfect circle, which is I think the hardest, but yet on the sticks it's the most simple. Um, now if you look, I'm gonna do a stick cam as well, so you'll be able to see that, and we'll also have uh, FPV footage from the GoPro here, and we'll also um, have Kevin. He'll be filming it with a, another camera. Basically, he'll be the person I'm orbiting, or the thing that I'm orbiting, and I'm going to try to maintain perfect gap away from him and perfect altitude away from him. Okay, if someone finds this footage and I didn't make it, I'm flying mini quads in the sky. But you'll see that once I get locked into this orbit, I know I've heard this on uh, like funnels on a helicopter or hurricanes on a collective fish helicopter. Basically, once you get locked into this position, the only thing you're adjusting is very, very slight, slight adjustments. It's not a very hard thing to do as far as once you get it into that lock position, but getting into that lock position is very difficult. All right, so basically, if you look at my fingers, you'll notice they're not moving very much. And I am doing a clockwise orbit around Singer Storm. I'm basically keeping my focus on the object that I am circling. And uh, we'll go over here and do something else real quick. And there's an S turn for you if you really wanted to learn S turns. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna try to maintain very, very uh, neutral style throttle. You don't wanna be on and off the throttle very much. And there's a couple different types of orbits. So there's a really tight, completely flat orbit. And I'm getting a little elliptical here, as you see. There's a completely tight, flat orbit that I think is easier to do left counterclockwise because you can pull the yaw stick closer to you. I'm basically adding a little bit of yaw to keep me turning, but I'm also adding a little bit of aileron to keep me moving in that direction, but not so much anymore once I've started the rotation. Now, there are this type of orbits that are flat, and we'll give Kevin a break because I think he's That's getting. So terrifying. I, think, I think he's getting dizzy. He's getting dizzy. <laughs> okay, so there's a couple. There's different types. There's counterclockwise, obviously clockwise orbits where you just go different ways. There's the flat spinning ones like I'm doing now. Now these you can't really do at a high speed because if you start to pick up the speed, the quad starts to tilt a little. Now you can do these like faster orbits where I'm getting a little bit of speed. I can ramp up the speed, but you see that I have to lean the quad a little bit more and you also gain altitude. So if you want to maintain a low altitude, it's actually really difficult. And I might kill John here in a second. All right, John, you might want to back up. So I'm going to try it left as this train goes by and blows out the audio. But I'm going to try to do a really fast orbit and you'll see that my sticks are maintaining very similar, I'm increasing throttle a little bit, getting a little elliptical, but I'm also increasing altitude. So if I want to drop it back down, I'm maintaining the same throttle, lowering my elevon or elevator a little bit, and I think Kevin's, I think Kevin's dizzy. I'm done, so done. I'm basically not moving anything, and I'm holding a perfect orbit, and all I'm doing actually is adjusting adjusting uh, elevator and that's elevator and aileron are what I'm adjusting to increase or decrease altitude instead of throttle like most people think so I'm basically adjusting a little bit and it's actually changing the altitude based on how the quads oriented in the air instead of increasing throttle I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope it was informative and uh, thank you guys very much and we have trains coming by because trains are cool and we love trains we're gonna chase some trains 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 How to oh. flip a GoPro session. On a selfie stick of death. <laughs> Dad! Oh! Dad! Oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah, buddy. He's like, I really want to do that. <laughs> you got all that balance? No. Ow! Oh, oh, that was oh no. That is how it is. Oh no. That's how it is. Oh no. Oh no! Oh. <laughs>